Okay, Coach, uh, can you talk to us about Landon and what you saw in him? Yeah, you know, I had the opportunity now to watch him for, for four years, you know, grow up and, and uh, just his progression as a player and as a person. And, you know, his, his uh, physical tools are, are great. I mean, you got a guy that can operate in the passing game and, and you know, stretch the field vertically. He can sink his hips, get in out of breaks. He's got great ball skills. He's got all the things you want in a pass catcher. But I think what separates is me. You know, what separates him is he'll he'll put his hand in the dirt and come off the ball and block you. You know, and uh, you know that's a pretty rare combination, really. And I think that's what makes him special and sets him apart from a lot of guys in high school. And uh, but then but then the human factor of him, you know, watching him and, and meeting him when he was young. And, and basically watching him for four years not change. He's not. A, he's not a. He's, he's never been a guy that's uh, believed all the hype about himself. I think he just goes to work every day. He, he's got a quiet way of working about him, um, and he's humble. You know, Charlie Ward says, you know, humility always wins, and so uh, I think I think that's that applies to Landon Thomas, and I think it's a credit to his family. If you if you're around his family, which I've been a lot over the over the years, you you see. Uh, you know, they've instilled that work ethic and that humility in him. And, you know, he's just grown and progressed really well. It's been fun to watch that. Yeah, you know, you with a kid from that part of the state of Georgia and being as highly rated as he is, you would think that would be a, a real difficult pull to pull a kid like that to yeah. Florida State. What, what, what was the what, – what made that happen? Yeah, and, and it, well, it, is, it is a difficult pull. It is a hard recruitment with a young man like that. And he obviously he committed to Georgia at one time. And, uh, you know, I think what what sets that apart is, uh, you know, I, I know from our end what, what we did is try to establish relationships with multiple people. You know, I've, he's in my recruiting area uh, to be, you know, as I'm thinking back on it, Chuck Canner was the first one to find him. One of his connections that kind of goes through and looks at prospects when they're young. I actually called him and say there's a really good young tight end over at Colquitt County. Um, you know, then then once you see the film, you know, okay, this kid is good. Now it's, now it's a process of just trying to get him on campus. And we got him on campus multiple times. The proximity helps so much in that, you know, being an hour and a half. And, um, you know, credit his family for investing a lot of time coming over here because it's not it's it's not cheap to get in the car and drive over here and use guy. You know, yeah. um, but you know, but then multiple people, starting with the head coach, you know, Coach Norvell does a great job of connecting with uh, prospects and, and families when they get on campus and, and and also texting and calling, doing all the things you have to do to develop that relationship and build that trust. The head coach has got to be. You know, he's got to be the point on a lot of that stuff. And Coach, you know, did a great job with that. But but then also, you know, uh, guys like DJ Daniels, who are uh, student assistant recruiting, you know, people that played here and stuff like that, building those relationships with family. Uh, D-Ray did a great job building relationships with the family. You know, just really multiple people that you can point to to say that uh, – had an impact in that recruitment, and that's really how recruiting ought to operate. You know, yeah. you got you got people taking the lead on certain things, but you got a lot of other people filling in, and and then the strength staff, the academic people, all those people when they meet with prospects when they get on campus are critical for making them feel comfortable. And you know, I think Landon just felt just found a comfort zone in Florida State and Tallahassee, and you know we're we're fortunate to get him. Got one last question for you. Uh, <clears throat> with your depth chart, there's a chance that, that you know, he could have an impact as a uh, sure. out of need. Yeah. Uh, what what do you what do you see in that possibility, and what will he, he enters in January? Right. Yeah, yeah. The, the reason I think he can is he's he's already six four and two hundred thirty five pounds. Like he's not two ten and has to gain twenty pounds. You know, he, and he's obviously going to have to get bigger and stronger, like any freshman. But he's. Uh, he doesn't lack in those areas in terms of where you want to start out as a freshman, but 
Uh, he played at one of the top programs in the country, Colquitt County and Coach Calhoun. Those guys do a tremendous job. Uh, they, you know, they work really, really hard at it. They have a high commitment level. They win. He's been in that program for four years. Even even back to Coach Rogers before that, who was there, who's now at Thomas County Central. All the, you know, those those pro that program has pushed him, and he's competed against the highest level of competition. You know, I grew up in Texas, so high school football is great there. So it's great in Georgia also. And, um, you know, kids come out of those type of programs and those type of uh, development situations, it gives them a better chance to, to compete early, you know, as a freshman. So all those things, I think, give them a chance. And, and coming in in January gives them a chance too, right? Absolutely, yeah. Get, get in in January is huge, you know, to get, get acclimated to the offense and the speed of the – game and all that stuff and, and uh, you know we have some really great workers in our tight end room already that I think he can look at and say if I, if I can work like that it'll give me a chance to impact and so you know he's got the humility to do that and, and so that's the other thing he's just a humble kid so he's going to come in and work do what you want.